Hello, Kulas, and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything, Barcelona, where we are going to be discussing on some interesting stories. We start with this report claiming that Barcelona will activate their second economic lever this week, working on Barca Studio Sale. We are going to be discussing on that as we move ahead. Then secondly, talking about this other report claiming that Barcelona are hoping to offload 5 out of favor stars by the time the US door ends. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into it, please endeavor to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a video. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. After signing three top quality players this past week, Barcelona has set for another busy week as they look to sanction the sale of not only the remaining 15% of the club's TV rights but also Barca Studio, according to Dario Sport. Barcelona had earlier sold 10% of the TV rights in order to generate a revenue of just over 200 million euros. This week, they are expected to sanction the sale of the remaining 15% of the same American fund. The report suggests the transactions could generate up to 330 million euros, though much of that value is said to be utilized in paying off the debt taken from Goldman Sachs. Barcelona and the banking giant's representative have already met on Sunday night discussing the 595 million euros loan that was sanctioned by the club during the start of the Juan Laporta's tenure at the club. Barcelona had used 90% of the club's TV rights as a guarantee for the loan, but it appears the bank are now set to withdraw 15% of the rights in order to help Barcelona generate revenue and repay part of the loan. The Catalans had already utilized the 200 million euros um, generated from the earlier Sixth Street investment to repay the loan. The club could once again look to pay off the debt, though the amount amortized could be around 100 million euros. Barcelona require further revenue to register new players. One option is to reduce the overall expense of the workforce by selling some of the fringe players in the squad, along with highly paid individuals such as Frankie de Jong. But the process could take longer and has a high chance of failure, especially given how the likes of de Jong and Neto have appeared adamant about remaining at Barca. As such, the club are exploring the possibility of selling 49% of the Barca studio. Talks are already on the way to transfer audiovisual rights to interested parties along with everything related to NFT and Metaverse. The sale could grant them an economic boost of up to 200 million euros. It will be enough to help Barca to register newly signed players including Robert Lewandowski who was recently unveiled in Miami yesterday evening. Now is a very crucial moment for Barcelona knowing fully well that new players still need to be registered. Um, departures are very necessary and of course talking about the economic lever that Barca are trying to activate the Barca studios according to this report will be will be sold 49.9% of that will be sold in the coming week hopefully it does because that will help Barcelona to further register players and of course pay their debt something that is really a concern for Barcelona for some time now we owe a lot of debt a lot of course we know selling these economic levers and not just to buy players or to register the players, but of course, very importantly, to pay off our debt. We know the, the last administration uh, crumbled this team. Barca have been in serious debt. Of course, we quite remember when the last president, Bartemio, left, Barca were reportedly over 100, or let me say over 1 billion pounds in debt, something that the club have never seen in their history. And that is why Laporta's tenure was always said to be a challenging one. But um, luckily enough, he's, he's trying to amend certain things bit by bit, slowly but surely. And many people do not even expect Barcelona to go ahead and sign deals like how they have done this summer transfer window, bringing in big names, Robert Lewandowski, Frank Isi, and Rafinha, something that most fans out there do not even really believe that Barca would do when we consider our financial position. So... If things go well, the Barca Studios, the 49.9%, of course, will be sold. And that will bring in a very huge, about 320 million euros will be generated from that. Something that will enable Barcelona, of course, at least to pay the debt to a certain extent. 
because we know paying the debt is not a day's job. We need to take some time to pay the debt. It's a matter of some years before we can complete the debt because the club have been drained in mess by the former president Bartomeu. So Laporta is doing a good job so far, and despite the economic situation of the club, still able to bring in top quality players. Players that their arrivals have brought so much optimism among Barca fans that the upcoming season will be a good one. So it's been a great job from Laporta, the president. Great job from the board as a whole. Great job from our coach Xavi Hernandez. So let's hope that things work out well. You know, it's a matter of time before Barcelona finally stabilizes to be what it was before. So it's just a matter of patience. But when we talk about sportingly, when we talk about what we expect on the page, what we expect for next season, of course, that expectation is quite high for many Barcelona fans. When we consider that we are bringing some good quality players and the season is the transfer window is still ongoing, more are still on the way. We've talked about strengthening the defense as um, Kunde has been the most talked about recently. Right back and left back, talking about Marcos Alonso and Cesar Azpilicueta have been the most mentioned. So let's see how Barcelona will end this summer transfer window. Then on to the next story of discussion. Barcelona have arrived in the United States for their pre-season preparations. Why the fans are looking forward to seeing the likes of Robert Lewandowski, Rafinha and Usman Dembele work together as a unit. There are concerns over the future of others. A total of five players in the form of Oscar Mingueza, Martin Bradway, Neto, Ricky Pitch, and Samuel Umtiti are not included in the trip to the US, as they have all been deemed surplus to requirements by coach Javi. They have known of their fate in the current Barca first team for over two months ago and have been asked to find new clubs. According to Daryl Sport, Barcelona have given them the allowance to continue training at the Suita Desportivo to prepare for the season ahead. But should any negotiations with other clubs pop up, they have been urged to hold talks and seek an exit away from the Camp Nou. Their primary objective is to find a new suitor. As none of these five players is said to be included in Javi's plans for the season ahead, especially following the club's spending spree in the summer so far. Barca are hopeful they can offload these five players by the time the US tour ends. With Neto being recently subject to a move away from Celta Vigo, he was linked with a move to Celta Vigo, though it appears the goalkeeper is now backing away from the deal, Samuel Umtiti has had his move to Ren collapse as well as after the club um, started having doubts over his lack of fitness and poor injury record at Barcelona. Ricky Puch, Mingueza and Bradworth are the others yet to find a new club but they certainly do not have any shortage, shortage of admirers and as we head towards the start of the season, it will not be surprising to see the club ultimately managing to offload their fringe players. Departures are a key, very necessary to have departures so that we can register the new signings. So far, it has been so disappointing to see how slow departures of our club have been. You know, we have, we have been ramping up with um, signings, but when it comes to departures, it has been a worrying concern for Barcelona. Especially as Neto's own news came out today saying that he has made a U-turn when it comes to interest from Celta Vigo, something that Barcelona will be so disappointed to hear about when we know we need to start selling them as soon as possible. So let's see if Barcelona really indeed succeed to offload these players before the US tour comes to an end because according to this report, Barca want to make sure those players have all disappeared from the roster before their tour from in the USA comes to an end. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.